more than ever before, it is now very important to pay attention to your gut health. And, you know, it's been proven many times over and over again that there is a connection between your gut and your brain. And your gut is classified as your second brain because of the way they interact together. So simply put it this way, if things are not right within your gut system, it affects the functioning of your brain. And that center of the body cannot be neglected because it is actually very powerful because you are healthy by the food you eat. You are healthy because of the nutrients that you get in the right amounts and that goes through every part of your body where it is needed to do its own bodily functioning to help you stay healthy. So um, when you then have a lot of toxin overload within your gut system, then that creates an avenue for illnesses to start to affect the body. So now let us talk about a leaky gut, for example. A leaky gut um, arises as a consequence or as a result of intestinal mal malfunction. So a leaky gut is where tiny particles that should never enter your bloodstream start to make their way there. And then that starts to cause another problem, which is not really what we're reflecting on today. But it was just um, good to mention that so that at least I create some sort of awareness and understanding. Because maybe many of you might have heard about leaky gut and you're wondering what that means. So that is just um, a simple definition of what a leaky gut is. So it is believed that every diseases that human beings suffer, it begins in the gut. And this has been proven scientifically. So um, when we talk about um, the way toxins then affect your body, it starts with affecting your gut system. So toxins overload can come about by, you know, eye drug intake, alcohol consumption, um, and, you know, the worst offenders that causes a leaky gut or um, imbalance within your intestinal flora include antibiotics and pesticides that we come in contact with contact with through the food that we eat and you know chlorine and fluoride is not helpful at, as well and you know sometimes we tend to get a lot of this in water but we get a lot um, um, reduced form in bottled water but we get a lot from the tap so um, the best way if you take um, tap water is to get a good quality um, water filter and that would at least help you to filtrate and reduce, you know, a lot of things that you shouldn't be consuming in the water or from the water. So you, um, the other ways that you can improve your gut um, health is to take plant-based herbs for detox. Always a good um, recommendation and avoid um, processed food. Um, because they lack the vital nutrients that your body needs to keep you healthy. And then you should consider eating a lot of probiotics because it's also very good for the intestinal and the gut flora. And also avoid gluten as much as you can. And eat healthy fats like olive oil, avocado, and coconut oil is also very good. And also, I would recommend eating a lot of mushroom because it contains a very high content of um, or a decent amount of vitamin B, um, B6, which is good for having a good effect on neurotransmitters within the brain. So you can imagine when you do all these things, you'll be Supporting and looking after your body. So you see, when we talk about self-care, we think about um, going to the gym, going to the spa and doing all these sorts of things. But self-care actually begins from your internal organ because what you show on the outside is as a result or consequence of how well or how good or how healthy you look on the inside. So it is very important to pay attention to this. It is very important to always go for um, preventative measures. We eat, for instance, because we are hungry.
So we eat because we want to stay alive, we want to stay healthy. That's the same way we should consider doing a detox because we need our internal organs, especially our liver, our gallbladder. We need those organs to function as optimally. We need those organs to function as good as they should. And the only way we can support that process is by doing a detox so detox should be considered as a way of life as much as the food we eat because it is the way you cleanse your internal organs especially organs within the intestinal system to make you function as good and happy as you want it to be or should i say to make you function as good and as happy as you want your health to be so it is also very important to consider doing this on a regular basis though recommended to do it twice a year but it is recommended to do it as regularly as possible thank you so much for listening and see you next time bye